Good morning, everyone. That was good. Sometimes I'll say that and nobody says anything at all. But welcome to Nash County. For those of y'all that came from another place, uh, we're so glad to have you here. This is a very exciting day for Nash County, quite frankly. Uh, we like to create jobs. We like to create investments. First of all, I would like to introduce uh, our commissioners in Nash County, if I may. And I am Robbie Davis. I have the pleasure of serving as chair this year. We elect chairs uh, each year, and uh, it, uh, it is a pleasure to be in that position. Uh, each time I introduce our commissioners, I can't ever decide whether I should do it uh, in order of district one through seven, or whether I should do it alphabetically order. Uh, and this morning I was sitting there deciding which one I done last, and it actually dawned on me that it doesn't matter. They're in the same order either way. <laughs> Our District 1 is served by Marvin Arrington. Marvin, if you would stand up, sir. He has District 1, which is on the other side of the county. Uh, I don't know how long it took you to get here, but probably a little ways. It's a long county. How much? 35 minutes. You were speeding then. <laughs> Our second district is served by our longest term serving commission, Mr. Fred Belfield. Fred, he is, uh, has District 2, which is totally located in Rocky Mount. Our third district uh, is, uh, everybody knows down here, Dan Combs. Almost there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just glad everybody's here, and I'm glad we're making this investment, or these folks are making this investment in this end of the county. It's been a long time coming, and we've got, got better things coming all the time. Absolutely. Thank you, Dan. Our fourth commissioner is Sue Leggett. Sue? And she's not far from here either. You just go back that way a little ways and her district picks up as well. <clears throat> our sixth, uh, excuse me, our fifth district is our vice chair, Wayne Outlaw. Wayne has the West Mount Clippers, Sharpsburg area. And our sixth district, uh, I think Gwen may still be looking this place. I'm not sure. She, she's up in Rocky Mountain. I know she was going to be here. If she shows up late, we will introduce her. She is our newest commissioner. And then, of course, I have District 7, which is the Red Oak uh, Dorches area primarily. I also like to uh, recognize our state elected officials, if I may, and a former commissioner, I might say, our senator for this area, or all of Nash County, Lisa Barnes. Lisa? Thank everybody would know her up this way. Thank you for being here. I do not detect any other state elected officials. If you're here and I missed you, please raise your hand. All right. Of course, we have two more in the house, which is uh, uh, Pastor Galliard and Matthew Winslow, uh, who we will be losing after the next election with the redrawn lines. Matthew has done us a great job, and if you see him, Certainly, uh, thank you for what he has done for us. As I said, this is uh, a, a wonderful day for Nash County. This part was a vision of the Board of Commissioners a very long time ago, and uh, we started purchasing this property. Lou Harvey and I spoke about it, but it's either eight, nine, or ten years ago. He thought eight, I thought nine, and normally both of us are on the short side of it as, as we get in our senior years. But uh, anyway, it, uh, it is something that the Nash County Board of Commissioners started, and the main reason we did that, we wanted to come to Southern Nash County and do some things because we had some people uh, down this way, Lou Harvey, you, you would attest to this, that felt like maybe they weren't in Nash County. And we wanted to definitely show them that they were a part of Nash County. Nash County, of course, is centered around the city of Rocky Mount, which is our largest uh, municipality. And so what we did was start accumulating land down here. The sign out front says 320 acres. If you notice that coming in, I think we're now up to 374 acres. Andy is that pretty close. Uh, he's buying land about every week, so I can't keep up with it. But uh, 374 acres. And our first tenant, of course, was our very own UNC, excuse me, Nash UNC Hospital, which you saw a clinic coming in, and that was committed to go there when we came down here. Uh, this is our first real industrial tenant, and we certainly want to thank Sonova Tech for choosing to come to Nash County. 
and taking our first shell building that we built here. This is a 6,200, 62,500 square foot shell building. It is our sixth shell building that Nash County has done, the first one in this part of the county. And I will tell you as soon as uh, we finish up here today, uh, quite frankly, we're already working on it, but we're gonna actually duplicate this building right next door uh, over here. And we have two other shell buildings that we are currently working on because what our board has learned is the economic development, when I first came on this board 20 years ago, if you had a contract on a piece of land, you could get an industry to come here uh, or look at your county. And then it got to be where you had to own the land. And then it moved into the, you had to own the land and you had to have infrastructure there or a site, what they call a pad ready site. And now it has evolved in, you just about got to have a building setting here or sitting here to get the interest of these site developers. And so we have bought into that philosophy and we will continue, I hope, uh, with future boards to build shell building after shell building because that's just what it takes to bring jobs to Nash County and that is our keen interest. We are pleased and when you pulled in, you saw a water tank up there. Actually, I can see the top of it from here, but uh, that is our fourth water tank, and of course, uh, that we have installed in Nash County with our countywide water system. And of course, it, I guess it actually went along through the bear here, but, uh, or the town of Middlesex. But we did uh, assist in, in putting this project together along with the partnership that we developed many years ago with the town of Middlesex. It has been a great partnership. Uh, I don't know how it could have worked any better. Uh, everything goes too slow in government. Uh, I'm in the private enterprise, and and we seem to be able to move things along a little quicker, but we don't have quite as many people to satisfy as the 93,000 that our board has to satisfy in Nash County. We do our best to do that. But uh, I do uh, greatly appreciate the opportunity to be here today, and, and I want to, while I'm here, uh, thank the industry and the people, which quite a few of them are here and are going to speak, for choosing Nash County and we will do whatever it takes to make this work because we want our future industries that look at Nash County, they always want to contact the people that you have brought here before and we get very positive results from the our development uh, department that worked so hard to do that. And, and this is uh, a new venture for Nash County. Quite frankly, we started our own economic development arm about two years ago uh, when we hired Andy Hagee to run that and Susan Phelps at the same time and I know y'all have been in contact with them many times. Susan does an absolute great job. She's supposed to be on the business side and commercial side of it but she's kind of sort of everywhere <laughs> and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, our department has developed and it just has amazed me. We thought it would take at least two years to do this but uh, two years are, are right about where we are and we got so many projects uh, going on that uh, I just know we'll have great things and we've got numerous other things that'll be coming to this park as well. But I, I certainly want to thank them and I won't ever uh, give up the podium without thanking one person that works for the county uh, and there are a lot of great employees at the county but the lady that we work with most, Pat McGee who is in the back, if, if you don't mind raising your hand, she is our go-to everything as it comes to grants. She is known as one of the better grant writers and administrators in the state of North Carolina. And to put a project like this together, it takes a lot of work on that side of it uh, to get the assistance to put in infrastructures and things of that nature. I think sometimes we may work her a little bit too hard, but uh, she doesn't complain and she keeps right on coming back to work. So Patsy, I want to thank you on behalf of the board of everything you do. With that said, Lou Harvey, I'm going to turn it over to you, sir, and thank you for the partnership that we've had in, in doing this, and uh, please be up here with you today. All right. Thank you, everybody. I, too, want to welcome you to Nash County and the town of Middlesex, as you are sitting in today. And I'm going to start off by thanking Patsy. <laughs> you know, we'll just reiterate, she is the person you want to know if you're going to do something because she can get it done. And she can help you get it done for sure. So I'm going to start off by introducing my board. In front of me, I have Ann Lewis. Beside her is J.W. W. McClaney. Danny Alford on the back. Harold Makums. 
Cherry Lane Davis. And like Robbie said about the county board, this group has been very instrumental in things that have happened in this town for the last 10 or 12 years. They're a great board to work with. They, they are from here. They live here. They're not moving. That makes a lot of difference. Uh, they're, they're very, very well to work with. I'd like to thank Sonovatec for coming to, to Middlesex and Nash County, for being our first uh, industrial person or group here in this park. I told Robbie before we came up here, this has been a giant collaboration. You know, to put this together with all the people that work from the county level, the town level, the state level, there's been a lot of hands working here to make this happen. Uh, I always tell everybody when they talk to me about Middlesex and some people say what I have done and I say no. There is no I in team. What we have here in Middlesex and Whitty County as well is a team effort to make Nash County and Middlesex better. I think we're doing that. I think we're on the right road. The jobs are here for this business. And as Robbie said, they're, they're coming here for other things that we're looking at today. Andy and Susan have done a wonderful job in, in marketing this area. Uh, this park looks really good. We've got a lot of things going on. So we look forward to standing at another podium sooner than later, doing the same thing and thanking everybody for being here for another new company that will be here. Thank you. All right, good morning again. <clears throat> and thank you, Chairman uh, Davis, Mary Lu uh, Mayor Lewis. Uh, before I in introduce our guest speakers, I wanted to add that today's announcement is a great achievement for the company as well as Nash County. And I also wanted to congratulate Sonova Tech on their new expansion. Um, and on behalf of the entire Nash County Economic Development Team, uh, we want to say congratulations. And we enjoyed working with you and playing a role in your continued success. And we will continue to work with you, as you know. And uh, so we're going to be here at your call if you need anything. Um, and also, a uh, part of that team that I want to include, in addition to Susan, as the chairman mentioned, also Rebecca, who's in the, the team uh, in the back there, is part of our economic development team. But one special member that we include in our economic development team, uh, since we have been seeing her quite a bit lately since she came on board uh, with the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina, but Mary Lisa Pegg, who is also here, wave, everybody see ya. She's been, uh, she's been here so much, we do include her as a part of our team. She was the one, the state brought this project, uh, START, as it was called, to us, and we've been working with her since then. And uh, leading into, I want to say that I'm also excited that uh, this is the second food processing company, uh, which is called Nash County Home, in less than one year. And uh, Lisa also, Mary Lisa also helped us with that, and that was uh, in last August, uh, Crump Naturals. Uh, a Canadian manufacturer of all natural pet treats and supplements announced their decision to make Nash County the location of their first U.S. operations. And they're located, their home is in the former 190,000 square foot uh, Carolina Innovation Food in Ingredients Building, CFI as it's known as, uh, in Nashville. And, um, and they're contributing 160 jobs and 20.5 million in their project so we're excited and that's probably going to be one of the uh it's already been announced but we're going to have an event when they're ready to open their doors and uh, so you'll probably see us again at that time and before i leave the team i want to also include um daniel proctor with smithson i saw him somewhere here he's in the back uh smithson was the one that constructed this building uh, since I arrived, he's been a really good partner with our team of showing this building and uh, helping to explain the, uh, uh, the inner outs of the uh, uh, building for those that are interested. Uh, obviously, I brought him on board with when Sonova Tech came calling, and he's actually working with them to finish out the building as we speak. So thanks, Daniel. Um, now I want to introduce and welcome to Nash County, Jordan Wichert who is Chief Deputy Secretary with the North Carolina Department of Commerce. Jordan.
good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks very much for having me. Pleasure to be in Nash County. I uh, came from Raleigh and got almost halfway to my hometown of Greenville, uh, but I'm always happy to be in uh, in Nash County and around Rocky Mount. And I uh, want to bring greetings this morning on behalf of uh, Governor Roy Cooper and our uh, Secretary of Commerce, Michelle Sanders, uh, both of whom are uh, out, out doing great things this morning, uh, but uh, wish they could be here. Uh, and we just really appreciate the opportunity to be with y'all in Eastern North Carolina to celebrate this really exciting occasion. Uh, days like this are not a coincidence, and you've heard of all the players already this morning uh, who were involved in it. Uh, and it's really the deliberate work of, of many, many folks that get us to the point where we're breaking ground. Uh, so Commissioner Davis, Mayor Lewis, uh, Andy, and, and all of your teams and, and fellow commissioners, uh, I want to congratulate you on your vision for this park, and, and today is uh, just one step along the process of, of making this a great site uh, in Nash County. I also want to thank Senator Barnes, uh, our federal partners. I see Betty Jo Shepard and uh, Senator Burr's office there. Uh, thank you all for being here uh, and helping us celebrate. You know, since 2017, uh, nearly 600 new jobs and almost $100 million in capital development have been uh, announced in Nash County. That's a lot of money and a lot of jobs. Last year, those included the Crump Group, which was just mentioned, Hubble Power Systems, and of course, Sinovatech and First Wave's new manufacturing facility here was announced back, uh, back last year. So today's celebration is uh, a, a celebration of all that as a byproduct of the rich uh, history in agriculture and manufacturing and innovation that we share in North Carolina. So Michael and, and your entire Sinovatech team, I'm glad so many folks are here, congratulations. In this expansion, the Department of Commerce is proud to have supported uh, Sonova Tech early uh, in their growth and with our One North Carolina Small Business Grant Program and, of course, today with our Rural Building Reuse Grant Programs. In 2021 to so last year, Sonova Tech pledged to create 42 new jobs and invest over $10 million right here in Nash County. And in their seven-year history, they've grown from a, a certified B Corp uh, at North Carolina State University uh, this helping deliver on a really a, a global need and that's access to healthy and sustainable food. The microwave technology that they're using in their food processing sector and helping manufacturers uh, produce and distribute food faster as they endure the strained supply chains of the of the pandemic that we've all uh, been affected by is going to be extremely helpful as we uh, continue to grow this business and help. That science and advanced technology helps to modernize the way food is being grown and being packaged and being distributed and consumed across the globe. Uh, and I think Sinovatech is a great, a shining example of uh, what we rolled out at the Department of Commerce last year, and that's North Carolina's first in talent economic development strategic plan. It prioritizes three goals. It's preparing North Carolina's workforce for career and entrepreneurial success, preparing North Carolina's businesses for success by keeping known, growing, and attracting the talented workforce that they, we know that they need, and preparing communities across North Carolina to be more competitive, to continue growing, and continue attracting that uh, talented, qualified workforce and the businesses uh, that we need to grow. And the leaders here in Nash County are continuing to pre prepare for all of these things. They're growing this industrial park. They're growing their talent pipe pipeline with K-12 education to the community college system. Uh, and they're attracting fast-growing, innovative companies like Sinovatech to the region. We'll talk a little bit about just the, the life of North Carolina's agricultural prowess. And our economy may be growing more dependent on manufacturing and biotech and finance across our state, but agriculture is still one of our main cash crops. Sinovatech uh, was going to help our food and beverage manufacturers around the state continue to cash in. North Carolina is the third largest state in the country for food and beverage process, processing, with a supply chain of more than 1,200 establishments that benefit from our local and regional farmers and suppliers. Our state really has a sweet spot in the food and beverage industry that we're growing today, with nearly half of the 50 largest food and beverage companies in North America operating uh, at least one facility in North Carolina. We've also got one of the largest manufacturing, in fact, the largest manufacturing workforce in the Southeast, and 62,000 North Carolinians work in the food and beverage manufacturing industry. And all in all, that agricultural industry accounts for $91 billion of our $650 billion economy and employs 17% of our North Carolina workforce. 
Add to that synergies like the $9 million Eastern North Carolina Food Commercialization Center in Pitt County that's going to help agribusinesses process and prepare food for market and the North Carolina Food Innovation Lab in Rowan County where I understand first wave technology is being employed and we have scientists and engineers continuing to advance plant-based food manufacturing uh, which can improve this industry. So we're excited about what's to come in, in research and development and production and the future and the future economic and health benefits that our homegrown North Carolina innovators like Sonova Tech are bringing to the table. Our highly educated talent in North Carolina is highly sought after by national and international CEOs that come to North Carolina looking to expand. Our North Carolina entrepreneurs that need a skilled workforce to propel their vision and their companies forward uh, in our state uh, are, are, are moving the ball. North Carolina offers world-class institutions of higher education and we're fortunate to have the talent uh, working right here in Nash County and, and soon to be working in this beautiful 62,000 square foot facility behind us. So we're excited about the next step in innovation uh, with a strong agricultural foundation, the positive impact that this is gonna have in North Carolina. And I wanna take a second to highlight some of the work that we're doing across the state. Last year, North Carolina had more than 3,000 new jobs uh, and investments exceeding $1.5 billion in the food and beverage industry. And that was just a small part, uh, really a big part, of the North Carolina's record-breaking 2021 economic development year that saw more than 24,000 new jobs, projects, investments of over $10 billion, even as we were still wrestling with the pandemic. And we're off to an incredible start here in 2022 uh, with uh, over 10,000 uh, new jobs announced so far and uh, 10,300 new jobs announced so far and that and uh, including t over 7,000 in Chatham and Rowan counties just last week and the first uh, ever automotive plant in North Carolina and the largest economic development investment in the history of our state in Vinfast Automotive located in Chatham County last week. Uh, this level of economic activity and what we're seeing uh, is critical for our future and I want to also thank our partners across the state and Mary Lisa and the whole team of the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina. Economic development is really a team sport and we couldn't do it without all the players uh, that, that bring everything to the table to make this work. So we're going to continue prioritizing our workforce as I mentioned in our first in talent plan. We're going to continue making investments in our communities, making investments in our people and making investments in our businesses. The last two years have really demonstrated how quickly conditions, both economic development and otherwise, can change. And we know our workforce has to be equipped uh, with the skills to adapt and thrive and keep North Carolina's economy resilient. We know we can meet these goals with strong creative collaboration between local leaders, state leaders, our elected officials, our, our incredible educational institution, institutions, our workforce development partners, and our incredibly strong partnership with, with the private sector. And it's that collaboration that brings us to celebrations like these today. It's the partnership of the visionary leaders in, in Nash County, in the town of Middlesex, uh, that, that make North Carolina what Secretary Sanders, if she would hear, would call uh, the, in, the economic envy of the world. And that vision is a reality. So Novatech and the companies that will continue to locate in North Carolina and Nash County uh, are going to continue to be successful because we're all going to continue to bring our joint focus on workforce development and economic development to the table to provide the jobs of the future and continue building. With the advancing technology, Synovatech will continue to develop right here. Eastern North Carolina is poised to create more jobs and continue growing our state's economy. So Michael, Tyler, the entire Synovatech team, congratulations again on this expansion. We're excited to continue working with, with each of you uh, as you continue to create a North Carolina that works for everybody. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Jordan. And now for our very, very special guest and a new member of the Nash County business community, Michael Dragan, CEO of Sinovatech who uh, would like to share the background on the company, their investment here in Nash County, and introduce some members of his team. And Michael, I hadn't planned this, but since this was in the car driving over, and it's become in the past two years since I've been here real close to me, 
I now would like, besides turning the podium over to you, I'd like to turn it officially the building over to you. <laughs> I don't have to break in again. <laughs> you were the one. <laughs> um, like everybody else has been saying, uh, there's a lot of gratitude to give. You know, it, it took an army to get this done. It took a lot of time to get this done. It took longer than we thought, but definitely well worth the wait. So I want to start by just giving thanks to everybody who was involved. Um, the town of Middlesex, you know, Chairman Davis, <clears throat> sorry, Chairman Davis, Mayor Lewis, um, Nash County with Deputy Secretary Jordan uh, Wichard, and all the work that Andy has put into this. Um, I've bugged him on Saturdays and weeknights and everything else. Uh, so I definitely appreciate that uh, dedication that you've put into it. I'd also like to thank the, uh, the state of North Carolina and Mary Lisa for all the work that they've done on the building reuse uh, program where we got a $400,000 grant to help assist with the, uh, the facility upfit. Um, and the one and C program that I can't think enough, you know, I've spoken about that many times. That's an incredibly powerful program for new and emerging technologies uh, to be able to, to support development that eventually lead to things like this years down the road. We've leveraged that program over the past uh, three to five years and that development is what has led us to this commercialization and this expansion today. So very thankful for that. I also want to give credit to Dr. Smunovich and NC State University. Uh, for basically breathing life into this technology that we're using to transform the food industry. Um, <clears throat> I also want to thank all of our investors uh, that have stood by our side and helped us out, helped us get where we are today. Several of them are here today, so thank you very much for, for getting us this far. Uh, most of all, I want to thank our team members. Um, many of them have dedicated themselves to this cause for years. Um, there's a lot here today that have only been with us for months as we've, as we've began this expansion. But it's taken all of us. It, like I said, it, it takes an army. It takes all these people standing by our sides uh, to be able to bring something like this to life. Now, without this incredible support network of everybody that I just mentioned, we wouldn't be standing here today and none of this would be possible. So just extremely uh, grateful for everything that everybody's put into this and really just looking forward to the next steps. Uh, we're extremely excited to be here in Nash County, a community that we mean to serve um, by immediately creating 50 jobs here within the next two years. And we're going to put over $12 million into this expansion and equipment here within this year. Uh, there's already more expansions coming beyond that. We already are looking to continue to expand, add more jobs and more investment here as well. Um, the future is looking extremely bright for us right now. Uh, the facility is going to play a huge role in the change that we're trying to seek in the industry. Uh, basically a change that will empower entrepreneurs and brand owners for a new era of innovation in food. Uh, the market has already started to shift and that represents today what we're doing here represents the first shift in manufacturing to meet that new market need. So my, my partner Amanda here is going to tell you a little bit more about that, what we're seeing on the market and what, how we're going to basically address these new needs of today's market. So with that, I'd like to turn things over to Amanda. Thank you. Morning. Um, thank you all for being here today. Um, thanks for having us. Um, we're really excited to be in Nash County and Middlesex. Excited to have all of you here today. Um, so in my job, I have the great benefit of being able to talk to a lot of emerging brands to understand what they're looking for, where they're currently hitting roadblocks. Um, one thing that I hear over and over and over again is that smaller and emerging brands who are looking to access the market, particularly the aseptics food market where we operate, um, they, just, they just can't access it because the minimums are so high um, that companies won't talk to you if you're less than a million to five million units. Um, they just don't have a way to break in. Um, they're consistently forced out of the market. There's a lot of market pressure right now of uh, co-packers um, just not able to service those smaller brands. Um, so they need a, a model to be able to, to get into the market um, and to create innovation. Right now, that's creating a huge roadblock of people um, not able to get their innovations that you know they see this need in the market, but not able to push it any further. Um, which at the end of the day, innovation creates better food and that's what we're, we're looking for. So our whole thesis is there just has to be a better way to do that, a better way to, to get those brands to scale and move into the market. So that's what we're, we're providing here. That's what we're doing in our current Raleigh facility. Um, our model allows for a company to come in and do as little as 5,000 units in a day as, a, as opposed to the 5 million that you might see at a traditional co-packer. 
Um, to young brands, this is an opportunity to test their concept, to lean into their passions, and to scale their vision. Uh, through this model, we're enabling innovation, providing an avenue for growth, supporting regional systems, and advancing our sustainable processing technologies. In the past year, we launched over 70 new products in our Raleigh facility alone. Um, over half of those were first of their kind products, um, products that have just never been seen in the market before. Uh, we saw three companies incorporate their business only because they found our capabilities, because they now found an avenue to get to market. We even had uh, enabled a large multinational company to commercialize their product between first conversation all the way to product on a store shelf in just three months. Um, just to give a point of comparison, that process normally takes in the range of two years. Um, so that's a significant time savings that we were able to provide that company. One of our emerging brands has tripled their volume um, estimates just in the last year uh, because of their in-market success. That's what's possible when great concepts mix with great technologies and a clear pathway to the market. This facility in Middlesex will be the next stage of that growth, providing key a key step for brands ready to grow to the next level in their journey. Our team of engineers, food scientists, and pr production professionals are talented and passionate about bringing better food into the market and enabling others to realize their visions. Thank you all for being here and supporting our vision. Um, and with that, I'd like to introduce Tyler Brown, our Director of Operation, Operations, who is going to make it happen. Good morning. Thanks, Amanda. Morning. Just want to reiterate our many thanks to everyone for being here today. Also, our thanks to the town, the county, and the most importantly, the people that have and will make this facility another success. Over the next three years, we plan to hire at least 50 new team members. These jobs will be utilized in our patented microwave technologies to process new and innovative foods. Technical jobs such as aseptic filling operators, processing technicians, and batching technicians, quality assurance technicians, to name a few. Our employees are our greatest asset, and because we're a B Corp, we feel we have a social responsibility to, the, to our employees and the people of Middlesex to make an impact on their lives and the lives of their families. We do not take this lightly. To us, it's not a burden, but an honor. Our first wave team here in the back, most of them are hiding back there, uh, are testament of that, and I want to thank them most of all. It's through their hard work and dedication uh, to our vision that we've had such significant growth over the last few years. Uh, we look forward to making Middlesex our new home, and uh, I think we've got a couple shovels over there, so I think we're ready to dig a, dig a hole, dig some dirt. Thank you. We've got a few more people we want to announce before we... Uh, uh, we've got uh, Betty Joe and Trey Lewis from uh, Senator Burr and Tillis office in the... There's Trey and... Okay, well, that's the two people to recognize. Sorry. <laughs> hadn't planned about that but yeah we're everybody's going to shift over here shovels are over here for everybody that wants to join in and just come on over <laughs> 